today I'm going to be going through how I painted this portrait. Hello everyone, my name is Mike Dawson and today I'm going to go through how I painted this portrait for the Portraits for NHS Heroes campaign. What the process is, a artist is matched with a NHS key worker, they're put together, they're matched together and the artist paints a portrait free of charge for the uh, key worker. And in this video I've got Lisa. Lisa is a junior doctor in London and has been very much at the heart of uh, the Covid-19 pandemic recently. So without further ado, I'm going to go get a coffee and we can get started. So I started off by preparing the ground as normal uh, for these two paintings with uh, a ye yellow ochre kind of base, yellow ochre with a little bit of burnt umber actually and gamsol mixed together, thinly applied over the uh, canvas panel. And then as before, a uh, quick sketch, just laying out the main areas of where the face and uh, head is. So important things to get right, or as right as possible at this stage, would be to get the eyes, and nose, mouth in the right place, the size of the head, also position it on the canvas, the kind of way you want it to be really. And with regards to the background, what I wanted to do was have a darker colour on the left hand side, and a lighter colour on the right hand side. But even at this point, I'm thinking this probably isn't going to be the finished kind of background colour. I just wanted to create something fairly dark for this one to give some contrast and bring the uh, portrait further forward rather than the reference photo. As you can see, it's a fairly beige kind of background and uh, I didn't want Lisa to be swallowed up by the background. Moving on to filling in the uh, blocking stage of uh, uh, the face and ears and everything else. Well, I've basically a simple uh, mix of uh, a little bit of burnt umber, titanium white, some uh, uh, rose matter lake. So I wanted to give um, kind of more of a subtle reddish pink to this. Um, but I'm actually quite mindful that I've been swayed by what's on the iPad and while well, obviously I want to adhere to that as close as possible, there's not really a great depth of colour coming through. I've got, I haven't got any other reference uh, imagery here. So I'm keeping it quite subtle, quite light at the moment. I'm fairly mindful that I want to create some contrast and inject a little bit more colour in this at a later stage. So first instance, get the highlights in the right place, the general skin tone okay. Um, but just spend a few minutes just blocking, quickly blocking all of this in, um, using a uh, number three, uh, size three uh, filbert uh, synthetic bristle brush here. Um, again, it's good, all, I find it's a good all round uh, brush that gives me a choice of uh, blending quite easily the different areas, but also uh, if I don't, I want to, if I want to do, do any kind of different brush strokes, I can do that with a filbert. But hey, that's what I prefer. So moving on now, after I've filled in the main uh, flesh colour, just add in a little bit of the lips. Um, this is a slightly smaller, again, filbert brush, it's a, a size two. Um, but what I'm kind of mindful of is to be careful with some of the brush strokes, not putting too much of a thicker paint layer, because especially the uh, mouth and nose I'm not, well, at the moment, I'm not really that keen on the shape I've got of it. I'm thinking this is going to be ch changed at a later stage. And I don't want to have any ripples or anything like that in the actual paint to be able to, to have to move around at a later date. So, a little bit more rose matter lake for the lips, and titanium white, and probably a little bit of uh, oak there just to take some of the red out of it. So at this stage I'm just, again, blocking out all the different areas, putting in the eyes, because it, it's kind of fairly distracting, A, 
having the eyes in some respects and B, not having the eyes. So what I'm doing here is trying to make sure the eyes are both pointing in the right direction. Um, so blocking those in, clearly don't want to be doing any highlights or not too much highlights, but nothing to really distract the my gaze away from anything else at the moment. Um, but again, just blocking in the different areas, trying to make sure that the right size, right shape, and generally in the right place of the painting. Using a fairly small round to do this. The final stage of the blocking in for today is getting some color down for the clothing. Um, for this, I'm going to, I've used just some cobalt blue with some titanium white. Uh, all of this stage is going to be mixed in with a fair amount of liquid, liquid original. Um, not clearly not too much, probably about a quarter, so 25% of uh, liquid to uh, paint. Again, keeping all this uh, fairly thin, smooth as possible, colours down and then that'll be the rest of the final part of today. Leave it overnight and come back tomorrow just to see what it's like and do the next bit. Looking at it here, I can see that the mouth isn't quite right in the right place. Um, but that's something we can address in the next stage. I've left a painting overnight now and here I am back, day two. I've uh, gone over a little bit in places to add a little bit more contrast, uh, a bit of definition to the face here. Um, this isn't going to be the final thing, we're going to revisit that a little bit later after I've uh, done something to this background colour. What I wa really wanted to do is add in a little bit of colour, a little bit of blue and white, a little bit of just something else to give this painting a little bit more life in the background. I knew when I was doing it, the, uh, the brown wasn't going to be the right choice, uh, but it was as good as a, uh, a base colour. So adding some blue, so just the cobalt blue and, uh, uh, no, phthalo blue and uh, titanium white, um, you notice I've done a little bit of the eyes. This is something that it was just bothering me looking at the uh, dead eyes at the moment, uh, the painting overnight. So I've added a little bit to that, revisit that a little bit later. And yeah, just do a little bit more on the different bits and pieces that's needed to uh, get this painting moved on a little bit. Now what I'm going to, what I'm doing is, I've added some other uh, colour highlights to the image, uh, given a bit of a blood flow through the actual cheeks and forehead and around the neck. Um, also adding a little bit of a cooler uh, highlights, as it were, just to give that little bit extra that's going, that's needed to bring this uh, painting alive. So move it from as a selfie to an actual painting. Sure, the, uh, the colours are looking a little bit extreme at the moment, but they'll come together. Just uh, another hour or two working on this, and we'll get that. I'm fairly happy with the placement of everything at the moment. Still need to sort out uh, the right-hand side of her mouth. Uh, it's not looking right. There's something going on with her lips but we'll come back to that in a moment. Uh, looking at different ways, I'm always kind of mindful that I don't want to have a sharp edge to the side of her face, because then it will, even though it's on the tone is similar in respect to the uh, face and the background color, the colors are very different. And I don't want to have a real sharp edge to define that. So that's what I'm just blending in those kind of areas. 
adding in some colour to to on the hairline, so work out the hair later. Um, but yeah, just generally going over the different parts, getting a few bits blended in, not too much. I want to keep some brush strokes evident in this. Um, and let's see how we get on in the next hour or so. Now more work getting the uh, the rest of the painting there, the well, kind of complementary but really very important part of what this is all about. The stethoscope, there's uh, the NHS lanyard, looks like some a pager and another thing with some uh, protective glasses on there as well. Um, okay, this really is what the painting is all about and I don't want to spend too much, uh, go into too much detail, I should say, on these bits and pieces. But I want the focus to be on the face. Um, but nonetheless, let's get this uh, blocked in, do it all in uh, one pass. I might, may go back to do a few highlights a little bit later, but we'll generally get this done. I want to focus on getting uh, a better colour tone and some definition in the this pinky blue of the outfit as well. Though. So the final part of this painting is doing the hair. Um, I've locked in the, and I'm quite happy with uh, the different uh, uh, bits of the uh, clothing has gone, all the different, uh, the apparatus as such around her neck. Um, okay, didn't want it to be uh, dis too distracting. Unlike the paintbrush I've got in my mouth at the moment, that clearly is not distracting at all. Some people would use their hand, but no, I've got this paintbrush in my mouth. Um, so, a few things to watch out for when you're painting hair is getting the hairline right and not going for too much detail. If you're going to be getting a double zero rigger out and wanted to paint each hair, that's fine. But you're gonna to have to make sure the rest of the painting is equally as realistic. So a few things that I take into account here is the general outline of the hair. So when you're looking at the photograph that's on the uh, pad of the iPad at the moment, you can't really see very much hair detail as such, but you know it's there. Uh, it's the, and you know it's kind of, a, uh, looks like kind of a wavy hair. And uh, that's evident from the general outline. There's a few little wisps there's a few highlights, so it's crucial to get the base color right, have your brush strokes following the general direction of where the hair goes, because when they dry, the light will uh, reflect, will, the light will shine off and shine and be caught by uh, the brush strokes, so you want those going in the right direction. Add in a few highlights and then blend through the dark color uh, to get the effect that you're looking for. But in the same vein, make, making sure to actually keep the actual hairline as soft as possible, because the hairline is not a harsh hairline, especially not in this painting anyway, at least. And with that, uh, highlights are already done in the eyes, making sure they're in the right place. I'm calling it a wrap on this painting. There you go, all finished. I hope you enjoyed watching this and uh, another sketch portrait done for the Portrait for NHS Heroes. Uh, I hope Lisa enjoys it for many years to come. Anyway, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe, until next time, enjoy your painting.